Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. Welcome back, guys. So um, we used uh, a painting in the video today. Uh, this one, the return of the Olympian gods, in parentheses, Anunnaki. And yes, it did get us a little wiki. Ah, yes. Why don't they want you saying the A word? It's because that's who the controllers ultimately are when you get down to it. Um, if you notice this, you have on the left an obvious depiction of some beings and some pretty typical flying saucers. On the right, you might not think it's a flying saucer until you see it next to another flying saucer. And when you look at the painting, uh, this is the depiction. Yeah, it really does look like a flying saucer, doesn't it? Kind of almost could be also taken as a portal or a vortex. You know, the type of thing CERN's always opening up. Imagine that. Yeah, absolutely. The gods of Olympus, did they come here in a saucer? Or maybe it was cigar shaped. I don't know. It just looks kind of interesting, though. It sure is. Think about it. It was not that hard of a tra tradition uh, jump to go from depictions like this and you know then just simply turn it into angels and Jehovah. Not really much of a jump at all. And as always, we want to thank you guys for your support over on Patreon. A great bunch of people. And our, our dear sister, Kristen, uh, who we want to thank her, as always, for her support. And all you guys, we couldn't do it without you guys. Thank you very much. And here we have the di demonic Typhoon Yagi. This person says, I cannot unsee the face. Yeah, it does kind of remind me of, you know, a skeleton face painted on somebody at Mardi Gras. Just saying. Yeah, it's, it's pretty um, pretty harsh looking. It is, and you know, we haven't, it, this is not the first time we've seen something like this. We've seen these demonic faces painted into storms more than once, uh, quite a few times, actually. I think so. We've seen it in the past, and you know, I mean, just looking at it, really, you can feel the energy. You really can, absolutely. So, you know, prayers and best wishes for everybody that is going to be affected by this. Again, this is over in China. Now, this has, like, all the forecasters talking about this. And they're saying heavy rain is moving across the Sahara Desert? What? Mali and Mauritania are now experiencing unusual high levels of rainfall. This could be one reason why the Atlantic has had so few hurricanes so far. Remember they were talking about, oh, my God, the water temperature is so high. It's going to just be the end of everything. But in reality, you know... It's been very, very quiet, very quiet. And you're looking at the way that this is flowing. This is definitely Abbey Normal, as I'm quoting a young Frankenstein there. Oh, what brain did you use? Abbey somebody or other. Abbey Normal. Well, there's a lot of abnormality going on right now when it comes to the weather. Or is it? Mm -hmm. Is it just something that maybe happens uh, in the periods of resets? which happen much more often than most people believe. Again, there are maps that show the Sahara Desert like a tropical jungle. Lakes where there are no lakes now. And these maps are only like five, six hundred years old. What is really going on on Earth? Well, you know, people are discovering you can't trust history. You can't trust the science. Certainly can't trust the mainstream media. You really can't trust much of anything. Certainly not the Pope. No, I wouldn't. No, definitely not. And I wouldn't trust the Black Pope, and I wouldn't trust the Gray Pope either. Or, or the one with the funny shoes. Yes, and, and that strange hat. They like their strange hats. I mean, seriously, when have you ever seen this? I mean, it, it's, it is, absolutely. It has all the weather experts perplexed. And actually, I'm having a very good time um, just like reading their comments because they're all kind of scratching their heads. And, you know, things are not conforming. How about this? This is a huge crack in the ground. In the ground, yes. And this is big. <laughs> I, if I'm in that area, wow. I mean, look at the size of this. 
we we have we've seen these before though in the desert do you remember gosh i remember um there were cracks like this popping up in arizona in um 2017 2018 and in mexico we were seeing uh, quite a few of these but again when you have storms in the desert areas like saudi arabia and you know so many of these areas there are not used to this uh, I think it could be the potential for, for disasters that we wouldn't even necessarily perhaps think of off the top of our head. No, I mean, it's a mess. And to me, I'm looking at all of this weather and thinking, oh, they got to be firing up their weather weapons again. I mean, just putting them on test runs and checking them out. And uh, we'll just have to see what happens. Absolutely. So hundreds of people have been evacuated with a half, within a half mile radius due to a massive chemical plant fire. This is in Akron, Ohio. Um, it's at a chemical plant called Koki Laboratory. The presence of various chemicals, large amounts of propane tanks, and other explosive materials inside the plant made the situation very dangerous. You know, we've seen so much of this. Akron, Ohio. Ohio is... Um, a very important state. It has an awful lot of manufacturing. Akron, Akron's loaded with manufacturing. Um, most definitely would be a target. Uh, there's a lot of targets there if you're talking about sleeper cell activity. Uh, there's a lot going on. And I saw one extremely disturbing video of a gentleman dressed in a really weird way that many people think was this guy. You know, possibly the next vice president of the U.S., although I really do think 45 will become 47. Uh, yeah, Tim Walls. This, he, he has a really weird energy. Very weird. We both um, are very apprehensive about him. But then again, we're apprehensive about 99.9% .9 of all the politicians that exist anyway. However, his energy is extremely odd. And he also has a lot of weird connections that keep popping up as it seems that he helped secure millions in U.S. funds for Minnesota Reach Center, which is tied to China's Wuhan Institute of Virology. Ooh, uh, that's something I don't want to be even remotely near. Uh, and again, can't we see what's happened? I think more people are waking up than ever. We had a lovely afternoon with... Uh, um, a dear friend and a really intelligent business person that is, again, another shining example of people that are waking up and they're no longer going to trust things that they used to trust. And, you know, they, they don't go looking for CON as piracy theories, but they're just recognizing simple facts now. It, it's, it's becoming beyond any sort of... To, to even say something as a CON as piracy theory that it's so blatantly obvious what's going on is truly an insult at this point in time. It's really an insult to everybody's intelligence. And, you know, there's not enough fluoride in the world uh, to cover up some things. I, I agree. You know, I mean, it's about people who are in positions who can help other people, maybe who are awakening other people. It's about us coming together and working within the system that we have. And it's about understanding how to navigate that system and blending it and creating a bridge. It, it's just like anything else. We're never going to be able to pop out of this together um, just tomorrow no we have to work our way out of it and there's a better way to do things we don't things don't have to be so brutal policies and procedures i think are very barbaric because they're taking people's intuition and people's natural ability to go with the flow and they're saying throw that out the window and do what we say and that to me is really harming the human nature and our ability but then again the, the controllers know these things we just have to know better. So, yeah, I don't know if there's any truth to the rumor that uh, Tim used to basically waitress at a mid Middle Eastern restaurant, uh, waitress uh, at a Middle Eastern restaurant or not under the name Babette. But, you know, that's that's one of the rumors that's out there. Maybe that's just a CONS piracy theory. There, there is something goes funny you say that because when I'm looking at him reading his energy and this guy wears um, a mask that we don't understand 
it's a mask of great proportions that that we don't understand in this 3d realm um so it's just so funny that you mentioned that because i think behind the scenes he is doing things that would uh really kind of boggle the mind and i wonder how much of an ability to shape shift he has because i do pick up he has a sliver of like this alien entity type being about him that's quite rare so even weirder than taking belly dancing lessons even weirder wow okay ah well moving rapidly along you have the cnn exclusive u.s has detected increased russian military activity around key undersea cables and believes russia may now be more likely than ever to carry out potential sabotage and yes uh there's other other articles out there talking about this same thing and saying we need to be prepared for the grid going down um i wouldn't be surprised we were talking again about the eclipse in um october 2nd which happens to coincide with rosh hashanah day of atonement hmm yeah and again it doesn't mean anything's going to happen that particular day but thereafter in the time period or or around then because again we're heading towards election this is getting uh very close to key 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 times and you have officials in the second u.s state issuing stay-at-home orders because of again mosquitoes vermont you know one of the most beautiful places i've ever been is vermont vermont's gorgeous but Again, I've had people tell me, well, you wouldn't recognize it if the last time you saw it was about 30 years ago, which that was about the last time I saw it. Well, they have postponed public events to curb the spread of a of, of virus that is spread by mosquitoes. We've been talking about Eastern Equine uh, Encephalitis, EEE. We've also been talking about West Nile. And other things, of course, mosquitoes and ticks, uh, you know, carry a lot of diseases. And so here you go. You know, they want people to stay inside between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. when the bugs are most active. Yeah, you know, honestly, um, shoot, <laughs> I get I get bit alive out there lately. It's It just seems like there's more mosquitoes than ever. I wonder if it has anything to do with all those factories actually breeding mosquitoes and releasing them. Oh, no, that's just a conspiracy theory. Prove it. <laughs> well, we, we've we've shown the videos and we, we the news articles. Everybody knows this. Those but are just minor details. Oh, okay, okay. So salmonella outbreak, 65 people sick in nine states from eggs labeled with Milo's Poultry Farms or Tony's Fresh Market. Do not eat. Throw them away. Return them to the store. Uh, Again, you know, eggs, that's a hot topic. Any sort of proteins because it seems that they want us to live off of just insect proteins which will cause all sorts of inflammation in your body and uh, speed us readily to see the mortician. After a study found toxic metals in tampons, lawmakers are now pressing the FDA to act. Well, obviously, I think there's an awful lot of people that think the FDA and the CDC and the WHO are absolutely worthless, uh, unless you want to end uh, homo sapiens. Well, you know, they're urging the FDA to take swift action to ensure that women are safe from these harmful and toxic substances and tampons. You know, the best thing you could do would be abolish the FDA, CDC, and WHO. But, of course, you know, that won't happen yet. It's going to take much more um, noise from those out there that, again, have suffered directly from this. And we know people, we know people that have been affected by this. And in, in a big way. So, you know, a couple of things that I would suggest. I, I know this, a lot of women use these. The problem is, is that, yes, they are loaded full of chemicals. They're really, really bad for the system. Um, you can do things like look for 100% organic cotton and inspect the company, even call the company. But I, I and, and there's cups, you know, there's cups, but the, those were never, they never worked for me. They, they were irritating as well. I'm sorry for being so personal, but I could not use those cups either. 
What I have found though is a period underwear. You want 100% cotton or you can go with bamboo and, and those seem to be very safe, very effective and they're renewable. And let's face it, if we are in a grid down situation, you're going to want something that's renewable being a woman because that comes around every month. So having something like that next to your body is, I, I think it would help a lot of women and probably resolve a lot of problems if you are having problems of a feminine nature i would definitely move to organic and be very careful what you put on the most sensitive part of your body so this this was absolutely atrocious and and horrible um in bangladesh there was an islamic mob that entered a police station and ended up convincing the officers to let them hang a 15-year-old Hindu boy because he blasphemed against Muhammad. This this is why we speak up so much about the just insanity of fundamentalism because it is something that could lead to just this type of thing. And and this I I can't again um, get across how how disgusted it makes me feel and how sad it makes me feel. Um, and you know, unfortunately I did end up seeing the video and it's, it's, it's not pleasant and we're not going to show it, but I'll give you the link as always. Um, it's just insane because, you know, again, the real creator doesn't want people doing these type of things, not at all. And the real creator is not jealous, is not vindictive. Uh, doesn't even need to be worshipped. No. This is something that's not even, this is the system. So when you see a dogma that demands these type of things or put somebody to death, which they just did, um, and this has been done to hundreds of millions, if not more, across the planet throughout the last couple thousand years. It's, again, why they create these dogmatic religions. And there's a big difference between a dogmatic religion like this and leading a spiritual life. A huge difference. It is. A spiritual life is going to be very, very expansive. You're not going to be met with rules and regulations and things you should and should not think. Um, you know, we, we really need to move away from this and stop supporting it because obviously it's very very dangerous and these people that are doing this have way too much power and um i don't know it, it's just really really sad that uh these people thinking that they're doing the very best thing for humankind by doing something like this you know you gotta sit back and think if somebody can be convinced of that just like they were convinced to uh, drown the witches, burn the witches, whatever. You really have to be careful out there as far as, you know, who we allow to have power over us. Oh, absolutely. You know, and then here we have the Muslim Brotherhood's most notorious Hamas linked front group, CAIR, is celebrating Rashida Talab, uh, first Palestinian Muslim woman elected to Congress. And, you know, you recognize this is all just tools. And I feel horribly for the Palestinian people. I feel horribly for the people of Canaan that suffered genocide thousands of years ago. And, you know, this, it's again, it's just an atrocity. And religion, truly, organized religion has done more harm than good. And I know that's something that a lot of people would hate to hear. Well, not mine. You know, we're, we're fine. I think there's great, wonderful saints in every tradition, in spite of the tradition. Just like people that overcome the big C, be, and they do go the route of traditional medicine, and they get, you know, irradiated, and, and they also take in poisons into their system, and they overcome. They overcame, in my mind, in spite of it in spite of something that in my mind is a total negative. And again, in every tradition, you have people that are truly wonderful people in spite of the dogmatic approach, yet you also have that dogmatic approach being used to eradicate people 
time and time and time again. And it, it happened here in the Americas to, at the bottom line, tens of millions, more likely hundreds of millions of people. Again, in the name of Christianity, as we know, the Inquisition did the same thing. Anybody that didn't believe was was a heretic, and that meant you know, take your pick your poison. If they gave you a choice, do you want to be drawn and quartered? Do you want to be burned alive, or do you want to die by drowning? Because they're going to kill you because you don't believe like they do. And Islam, yeah, they like to chop off heads. Uh, you know, again, are there great people in any of these religions? Absolutely, wonderful people that don't even perhaps see the atrocities or don't even know of the atrocities but they would be wonderful people without the dogmas too you know because their hearts are in the right place it's not the dogmas the dogmas don't make somebody uh, a saint no no dogma divides it divides a lot it does and again i i truly wish uh the best for all peoples of the world whether you're you know Palestinian or Israeli because again I do think even in Israel you have most people not really understanding what's going on they don't understand the bigger picture you have people that don't question what they were brought up with because they have respect for their parents and because they respect their parents which there's nothing wrong with respect for your parents but are your parents always right were they infallible could they make a wrong choice in life of course could they be deceived? Of course. Anybody could be at any time. Well, you know, when it comes to loyalty, it, it is something where um, if you were exposed to it, something uh, other than your parents, would you really believe it? You know, so loyalty can be a thing. And that's where I think the word resonate, you know, if this thing resonates with you, be sure. Are you, is it resonating with you because someone told you? Or is it resonating with you because you feel it in your soul? And that's something that takes time. It takes time to figure that out. It, it's If it's been taught to you, uh, that's being spoon fed. You know, this is something you need to sit and meditate on and learn a lot about. And then you can stand back and weigh it with your own heart. And then guess what? Then it's yours. It's not somebody else's. Absolutely. You know, it, it, do you love Jesus Yeshua? Well, you know, we do. We absolutely do. But we don't believe that what the system said was his message was his real message. Because we believe he was tattletailing on the system. He was doing the exact same thing that we're doing. You know, he was just saying, hey, <laughs> these guys aren't good. These guys aren't telling you the truth. Uh, these guys are deceiving you. They're deceiving the whole world. Somebody said, um, they made a comment basically saying, how do we know what beings are deities and what beings are extraterrestrials or demons? And, you know, well, look at the definition of deity. And when you look at the dictionary, I, for one, it's changed over the years. Since I was a kid, it's changed. And at the same time, it's very, very open-ended in so many ways. It really literally points you, if you're looking at Webster's, straight to the Bible, you know. And, and yet, you know, what, what is the definition? It, it'll basically say um, a being that has the characteristics of a god or a goddess and then when you look into God or goddess, it's talking about omniscient. And it's like, well, then, you know, if, if God's omniscient and that that's, you know, really the creator walking around the Garden of Eden and saying, where are you guys? He's not very omniscient. You know, it, it's it's pretty obvious. Plus, just just look to the original Hebrew again. It, it's it's not these. These are all all these characters, whether we're talking the Olympian gods or any of these beings you know none of them are source none of them are the source of everything uh these are all beings that are just simply more technology uh advanced technologically advanced and and just understand how the universe works a little bit more than a typical human but no none of them are what i would call a deity when you get down to it and even the beings that are very very um high level that we would take as uh, angels or archangels, you know, these beings that are at that level, none of them would want to be worshipped or demand being worshipped. 
they understand. Namaste means, you know, I recognize that source is in you. And the source that's in me recognizes the source that's in you. There's ultimately one source of which we are all a part of it. You know, there was um, a moment in my life where I did float in front of source, and that was over a year ago. And I'm still struggling to find the right words to explain what I felt. And all I can say is, that there's really not a truer statement where if you can name it, it's not God. I mean, there is no definition. It is such a force and a feeling of love. It's a tangible feeling of love. And, um, you know, there's no explaining. So just to say God, I mean, that's really doing source a huge disservice. Yeah, absolutely. And this is when Cindy was very, very sick. It was um, more like two years ago when you get down to it. Um, and she was very, very sick. And yeah, if we went the allopathic view, they would have had her doing chemo and radiation and all that stuff. But um, we understand that it's it's really a matter of, of taking the time to cleanse and allow the body time uh, to heal. And besides that, the energy work, lots of mantras and positive intentions along with good, as good a food as we could get in this world at this time, because we know everything in it is toxic, organic or not. But at the same time, it, better to have something that has less toxicity than more, because certainly people are again dropping in droves in this time. Uh, and it's due to toxic overload. Look at this water filter. Look at this water filter. This is an undersink water filter after just three months. So you can see. Now, I don't know where they're located. Um, but yeah, heavy metals, they're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're, they're being sprayed up in the sky every day. All sorts of medicines. So, you know, you might not have taken antibiotics, but somebody down the street did, and the water is going to make its way back to you. And, you know, this is, again... You might be great and you might, you know, understand how horrible things like Roundup could be. But again, your neighbor who's upstream from you sprays it everywhere. Yeah, you know, it's a sad situation uh, in the plant that we have. Um, again, don't ever drink out of the tap. My mom used to do that all the time. I, oh, you, you just can't do that at, at all anymore. So, you know, be just extra aware of how toxic the environment is as we have this. And, you know, here's somebody asking each one of these guys, where are you from and where are you going? And, you know, for one, they all look like not, I don't see anybody here that's like older than 30. I don't think. I mean, they all look pretty young to me. Uh, I'm an old guy, but, you know. And they're going all over. And you'll get New York, New York, New York, California, California, California. You know, all these different places. Why are they going certain places? Why do they know where they're going? You know, it's because they've they've already been given all the information. It's an assignment. It's an assignment that comes from the NU. And you put that up to a mirror and what do you get? It's a big plan. Yes, people have said, you know, you're looking at your replacements. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. You know, this is why 23andMe, when, when you know, they do the test and they tell you, oh, yeah, you're from Africa. What? Africa? My mom said we're Irish. Yeah, you know, again, we are all mutts. And they do this to us all the time. This, this is just a bigger one. This is a bigger one than normal. But at the same time, this happens all the time. When you keep people on the flow and moving and have all the migration patterns that we have, you can't root, you can't ground, you can't grow, you can't sprout. What happens if you keep pulling a, a plant up? You plant it, pull it up a little bit later, plant it somewhere else. Pull it, it, this is what they do to us. You know, for a strong tree, roots need to be well nourished and unfortunately these folks are having to live on the road they're having to live on some food that's like really horrible highly inflammation high inflammation there's um 
it's just a shame and that's what our system does it, it there is no real true um appreciation for for human life no i mean bless bless them uh and may they all find peace and and happiness you know yet at the same time there is a portion uh that have been you know trained to become something not so nice you know and it might be a, a small portion but again we, we've looked at like 40 50 million how many i don't know just in the u.s alone that we're talking about over the years and here you have again somebody <laughs> do we have the closed captions on there you go um this is talking about the the plan the idea of having these refugees come into europe it's it's no no mistake or anything no uh, let's see if it's gonna go well anyway I'll, I'll just tell you guys short and brief this is part of a plan it's the fulfillment of prophecy it's part of the scripture it is it's part of the script who's making it happen the UN again it's it's a UN plan and the UN is the one that brought again uh, Israel back into existence and when you look at Ukraine if we didn't have the breakup of the Soviet Union you wouldn't have the Ukraine situation as being an independent country which then could have a war with Russia and draw us all, all into this World War three this every bit of it is planned and you get people just that can't understand the fact that well this must be the creator of the universe because you know it says it's going to happen it is happening no it's just the creator of this this system and this script it doesn't mean it's the creator of the universe but you get people that can't get that out of their head it's it's the indoctrination and it's the fluoride in the water and it's the horrible food and look at russell brand he's on his knees knees my life has changed praise jesus uh, yeah, because he now worships the Pope, too. I mean, he, he's down there, and he's going to look and listen to see what the Pope says to do. Yeah, no. This is, this is why is Russell Brand doing this when he's spoken up before? Because he's controlled opposition. Just, just you know, again, he's part of the script. In Behold a Pale Horse, 1991, written by William Cooper, former U.S. naval officer who foretold 9-11, before it happened and wasn't alive much after that he says the u.s government will use advanced technology to simulate a false second coming or other religious events he cites a supposed sources saying the project is designed to use technology to simulate alien invasion or a religious event that would be so convincing it will lead to the global establishment of a new world order out in the open U.S. government, he also said, the U.S. government's been in contact with alien beings since at least the 40s. Uh, so, yeah, that means they could penetrate the dome. They could penetrate the firmament. They do it all the time. It's a permeable membrane, guys. It, it, it does, it's, it's not solid. It, it doesn't allow ships in and out. Ships come and go all the time. We've seen them in the desert right next to area, um, <laughs> yeah, right, right next to Nellis Air Force Base. We've seen Portal open up, and we watched them. You know, they, they came out of nowhere. They, they weren't from, they, there was a portal that opened up, literally, and the ships would come out, and they'd go over to Nellis, and then they would disappear into another portal. Ah, uh, yes, reverse-engineered reverse alien technology now being used to develop advanced weapons and surveillance systems that are kept from the public, and they are going to fulfill the predictions found in the Bible. This is the NWO doing it because the Bible is a useful tool, as is the Koran. They are tools. Well, I think they just need to take the word Bible off and put NWO and who and all that on there. Yeah, again, it, it just boggles the mind that some people won't, won't trust the mainstream media anymore, but they'll trust the most published book of all time. Hello. More coffee, please. Visualization exercise without actually doing it increased strength 35% in the finger in this study. You don't realize how powerful your mind and visualization are yet. This is very true because this is why they have us believing that the inevitability of Bible prophecy is just that. It's inevitable. 
Why? So we won't create an alternative reality to the death and destruction and chaos that is given. We're learning a lot more. We're waking up. Um, we're stepping into our power. And the only thing that's stopping us at this point is us, really. You no, know, recognize this. We are all co-creators. If source is within us, then we are incredibly powerful. We are actually more powerful than those beings that we call the Anunnaki or the Olympian gods. They don't want you knowing that because they're all stuck. We're not stuck. We're upwardly mobile and not in the way that's, you know, of a corporate sense. Because again, the root word of corporation is the same as corpse. It's a dead, lifeless, soulless entity. And that's exactly what the beings are that control this dark matrix within the benevolent real matrix, the original benevolent real matrix. Yes, there is a creator and there is creation. However, there is also evolution. That's kind of the natural order of things, but it's not Darwinian evolution. Just like the communism you see on the planet is not really communal at all. No, I mean, symbiosis is the way. Absolutely understanding we are all part of something much bigger and we can't even you know organize well certainly the politicians can't organize themselves as well as these monkeys look at these guys yeah they're they're trudging along pretty much in unison but certainly the politicians understand monkey see monkey do and they do know how how to monkey humanity around and get humanity to follow follow the mass media and and you know what whatever form that ends up taking in our lives and and they will have people just follow right off a cliff it's just again the sheeple sheeple is unfortunately a reality in this world and the masses have been asleep however they are awakening and watch out when they do awaken indeed Source bless. Look forward to your comments. Much love. Namaste. Namaste.